Today I'm Michael James. I'm here with Mary Sweeters from Greenpeace. A uh, couple of announcements. This is holiday music in the heart of Rogers Park and theater too. This weekend will be the last weekend unless they do an extension of Bell Barth. If I embarrass you, tell your friends. And that's 8 o'clock tonight and 7 o'clock tomorrow at the No Exit Cafe. Uh, every Thursday night is Open Night Mike, hosted by Mickey Croissant at the Red Line Tap. On Wednesday nights at the No Exit, uh, except on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, but on a regular basis, is a Country Doctors. On New Year's Eve at the Heartland, there will be a band called Snatch. And over next door in the Red Line Tap uh, will be the Mud Flaps and a number of other groups. Uh, I don't have information on the specifics, but there's other music venues in the neighborhood. Duke's down on Glenwood, the Morse Land on Morse, and the new Morse Theater on Morse Avenue. And I'm sure everybody will be having a lot of action in the music front for the next uh, week or so. Uh, so I encourage you in the neighborhood and those from beyond to come around and live it up in the heart of Rogers Park. Okay, back to Mary Sweeters and Greenpeace. Uh, we're going to get from you now, Mary, a, a, a Christmas greening report. And uh, greening the holidays. Give it up. Sure, sure. Well... So, um, you know, in the spirit of the holiday season, um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, Greenpeace is really urging all Americans to, you know, celebrate this year um, and every year um, with an eye towards reducing their global warming impact and their impact on the environment. Um, and, you know, there are a lot of things that people are doing and can do in their own life. Well, they aren't even giving <laughs> gifts because they <laughs> can't afford it. Well, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's true. It's true. It's an unfortunate uh, truth for this year. Um, but there are things that people can do that actually, you know, maybe would even help your pocketbook a little bit um, if you kind of follow a few a few things that you can do. Um, one thing is that people can look for environmentally friendly gifts. Um, so, you know, when shopping for appliances, you can look for products that have um, the EPA's Energy Star label on them, which means that they're more efficient. Um, you can look for products that are uh, will have a program in place to recycle um, parts like plastic parts or uh, metal parts. Um, you can avoid products that have excessive packaging on them. Um, you can do things if you're if you're a Christmas celebrator. You can uh, buy a live potted tree rather than going to going to a market to cut one down, because um, every tree that's cut down, you know, is releasing carbon. So um, you can also you know use natural or homemade ornaments rather than buying um, other ones. You can replace your your Christmas lights with uh, energy efficiency uh, energy efficient um, LED lights. These are really simple things that you can do, but r really. Um, I think if we really wanted to have a good uh, green holiday this year and, you know, many more to come, we want to see our leaders um, enact uh, some really strong science-based legislation. And, you know, science-based <laughs> legislation. I like that. It's it's yeah. I mean, it's it just kind of tells it like it is. This needs to be based on what science says needs to happen rather than politics. Um, and so we, you know, really want to make sure that America's future and the rest of the world's future is, you know, we've got reasons to celebrate uh, in the future, and we we want to see our leaders, um, our leaders doing that. So, yeah. Uh, Mary, could you? Uh, uh, we have a few minutes left, sure. and uh, one of the things I like to do when I'm hosting the show is to get a little bit of information out of my guests, <laughs> and I'd like to know sure. where you come from, how you got involved, what influenced you, why did you end up uh, being an organizer for Greenpeace. Uh, Give us a little of your history. Sure, sure. Where did I come from? Um, <laughs> well, I grew up in Northern California, uh, just outside of San Francisco. Um, I was very lucky to grow up in the wine country region. Um, it's a beautiful area. If you Heartlanders have not been there, I would uh, suggest a visit. I go um, through there on my <laughs> way to the Harbin Hot Springs to <laughs> soak in the waters. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a Every great, year or great two. place. <laughs> oh, good. It's a great place. Um, and I, um, born and raised there, went to school down at UC Santa Cruz um, on the coast south of San Francisco. Studied surfing. Uh, yes, yeah, studied surfing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, and I, I actually studied environmental studies and biology. So I, you know, I've had an interest for quite a while in environmental issues. Um, but I think from a pretty young age, I um, was pretty uh, just influenced by the idea of, you know, being kinder to the planet and actually taking action and not just learning about it, but actually doing something about it. And um, when I got out of college, I um, 
started to be an organizer for the public interest research group, um, the PERG um, oh, network. Perg. Yeah. yeah. Um, they still active here in Illinois? They are active here, yes, yeah. definitely. Um, doing wonderful work um, both with Illinois PERG and with Environment Illinois, uh, their sister environmental organization. And um, but they're you know all over the the country. So I was working in uh, with CalPerg, the California uh, Public Interest Research Group, and actually organizing students at uh, Yerma Mater at Berkeley. Um, and um, I just you know I decided organizing was really the thing to do for me. Um, it's just putting putting you know right there doing the walk, um, not just talking the talk. Were your parents political? Um, they they have been. I think my mom actually said she one time marched with Cesar Chavez uh, ah. back in the day. So, um, but um, yeah, they the they fruit definitely influenced. Doesn't fall too far <laughs> from the tree, <laughs> right? <laughs> so yeah, and I got involved with Greenpeace um, about a little over a year ago. Um, I wanted just to work on environmental issues and really dedicate my time to global warming. So here I am. Well, we were really glad to have you today. You are a great guest, and. Uh, uh, we are honored to have met you, and uh, it's great to get the an in-depth report on Greenpeace, its history, its actions, and maybe in 20 seconds you could tell us uh, the future goals of Greenpeace. Sure, sure. Well, we will continue to, you know, toe the hard line and advocate for the environment. Um, we'll be, you know, continuing to do work on our global warming campaign throughout the country. Um, if people want to get involved uh, with our work, you can visit um, www.project hot seat dot org it's the name of our uh, global warming campaign you can also just visit www.greenpeace.org um, to check out all the different work that we're doing in the future thanks mary mary sweeters you were a great guest thank you uh, this is michael james i've been your host for this morning's edition of live from the heartland once again we're brought to you every saturday morning from nine to ten on uh, 88.7 WUW, and you can get us online at www.wluw.org. Uh, you can see a lot of the uh, more recent uh, interviews and uh, shows if you go to YouTube and punch in Heartland Media, one word. Uh, you can also find us at heartlandcafe.com slash media for some streaming of back shows. And uh, there are a whole lot of people who make this show possible. Uh, I want to thank uh, Evan West, who is our videographer and makes it possible for those to see uh, what we do beyond the, the listening audience on a Saturday morning in the, here in Chicago. And I want to thank my co-hosts, Katie Hogan and Lisa Smith. And I want to thank our producer, Laura Herman. Uh, once again, I encourage you all to do good in the world because the world needs all the good that you do. Uh, it's an exciting time we're living in. It's a challenging time. There's a lot of opportunities. Go out there and make, uh, make something happen. This is Michael James for all of us saying thanks and all power to the people. Over and out.